Uh, Mine Primary Academy is a vibrant school. It has so many different experiences for the children that are both in and out of school. The environment is, is exciting. Um, the parents see us as part of the community and the children are generally happy and feel very safe here. What makes me proud about the teachers and the staff? Um, well, first and foremost, it's the passion they bring, the expertise they bring, the commitment that they bring to the development and the progress of the children. Um, we are all fully committed to ensuring that the children have the best possible start that are all secondary school ready. Um, and I think, as, as well as that, it's bringing the parents and the rest of their families along that journey with them. Yeah, that um, educational journey from nursery to year six, uh, thinking about it, because we're part of the Academy of Lincoln Trust, and um, we have very close links with Lincoln Castle Academy where the vast majority of our children go to when they're ready for year seven. Um, I would say that the journey starts at nursery, but it doesn't end in year six, it ends at sixth form, it ends at apprenticeships. So um, as a trust, we can offer that all through education. Um, and throughout that journey, the children will find themselves working alongside uh, our passionate and inspirational adults, teachers and teaching assistants who, um, through a, a close working with each other, through close working with the children, through close work with the families, we can offer as close to a personalised um, education as possible. What sports do we focus on, um, boys and girls wise? Yeah, uh, we offer a huge range of sports, uh, you know, a, a much larger range of sports than lots of other schools do. Um, and we have done for many years. For boys and girls, it doesn't matter which gender you are, if you're interested in joining or having a go at a sport, then you can. Um, so things like football, tag rugby, netball, cricket, athletics, indoor athletics, cross country, um, even things like dodgeball, and hockey, things that are not necessarily commonplace in every primary school, but because partly because of our link with the local secondary school, we're able to offer those other sports because we have the additional staff to draw on, um, who are obviously um, more expert at sports than maybe some of our staff are. Um, and we also have incredibly close links with uh, the sports partnership, who offer many different tournaments and training opportunities so we can join up with them and, and get involved with so many different tournaments and competitions throughout the school year. It's a hugely important thing for us. Um, we, we don't just focus on the academic side. We like to draw out those other skills and experiences uh, within the children. So uh, music, for example, we have the music service who are part of Lincolnshire come in and teach two year groups and they look at percussion, they look at woodwind instruments. Alongside that, we offer um, the opportunity for children to learn how to play instruments themselves. So we have, for example, a recorder club. Uh, and um, music tuition that the children can buy into themselves if they wish. Um, kind of building on that really, for example, at the end of Key Stage 2, the Year 6 is put on a huge performance for everyone at the end of the year after their SATs, so it's something for them to look forward to. Um, and if you've ever seen any of those performances, um, you can just tell how skilled and talented some of our children are and it gives them that opportunity to do that singing in front of an audience um, and to you know learn their lines and experience what acting might be like and whether it's something they'd like to pursue in a later life. Uh, in terms of art um, we have dedicated weeks for arts so for example we might have a, a cultural week where we look at the art and other elements of a, of a country or a culture such as the Mexicans in Key Stage 1 um, so we'll look at absolutely everything to do with their culture and we'll draw in what art is like, whether it's like it is now or what it was like in the past. We look at famous artists and their famous pieces of work and we produce artwork, uh, quite small pieces all the way up to very large pieces which adorn our walls here. Um, and they produce those over the course of a week or two. Um, and when you go around the school and have a look at those pieces of work, um, you you are always so impressed by just the sheer scale and the sheer um, quality of work that's produced. 
Our values initially were created by the children, the staff, the governors, the parents. We, we asked the question of everyone what they thought the values at the school should be. So the ones we decided on, they're all a culmination of everyone's opinions and views. So that, that was a really nice starting point. And every so often we'll revisit those because of course, you know, people's values and people's opinions do change over the course of years. So um, and we'll, it's always nice to have a refresh as well, just to see what people are thinking. But um, yeah, that's, that's where our values have come from so far. So we have things like um, valuing ourselves and others, um, and we'll do that through looking at respect, equality, looking at friendship and forgiveness, things like that. The things that we'll look at um, on a weekly basis in whole school, assemblies and collective worship, uh, things that individual teachers and classes will look at through their own class assemblies. Um, these things can also be touched on in PSHE lessons, uh, they can be touched on in, in everyday life really as you talk through issues and problems that the children are having um, and through other areas of work too. For example if Year 6 were looking at something like uh, World War II you can just imagine how much um, how many values can be looked at and discussed through that kind of area. Um, we also um, think that curiosity is an important value and we'd like our children to be you know, thinking about the world around them and why things are as they are, why do things work, how do things work. Um, we want them to be uh, curious in terms of finding out things for themselves and showing independence in their, in their learning. Um, and not only that but showing determination. So. Um, that's linked to another one of our values of resilience. So if they come across a challenge or a problem, um, particularly maybe in a subject area they're not quite so confident in, we want them to have that resilience and, and show that determination to continue through that hard work until they get to a solution and hopefully feel very satisfied with themselves um, and that they've come to that conclusion and come to that solution. Um, we also have um, high aspirations for our children, so one of our core values is also aspiration. Uh, and that works really well when you consider our link to Lincoln Castle Academy. So they can look at where children are by the time they leave their sixth form and where children have gone to in terms of their apprenticeships or where children have gone to, uh, to different universities. Um, and so we can link the fact that you could go this far um, if you put your mind to it and quite often first of all they need to realise that those opportunities are actually out there in the first place and that's one of the things that we try and make the children understand. Yeah, why am I proud to be the head teacher here? That's uh, a very good question. Um, it's something that's been building up really with, within me in terms of my teaching career if you like. I've I've been at this school and working with this community for 16 years. So for me to start as a newly qualified teacher, uh, get to know and get to work with everyone who lives here um, and work my way up, so to speak, and, and do that alongside the, the same community where I started has been an absolute privilege. Um, and to think that I'm now in a position, you know, more so than I ever was before, to shape the futures of so many young people here to give them that aspiration for their futures and where they might go next. Uh, to think I could shape and influence that is an incredible feeling. Parents would want to send their children to Ermine Primary Academy because we offer a high quality of education first and foremost. We offer a huge range of experiences that many of the children wouldn't get a chance to do outside of school. Um, we offer not just nursery through to year six education, but the opportunity to go from nursery all the way up to sixth form with our links with Lincoln Castle Academy as part of our trust. Um, it's a huge community minded school and we're all very passionate and very dedicated to the progress and the achievement of the children here and we want all of them to do their absolute best.